Intense competition for light has been a selective pressure on land plants throughout their evolutionary history. Early woody forests began to evolve during the Devonian. The evolution of genes coding for key enzymes involved in lignin biosynthesis further led to the evolution of efficient vascular systems carrying water and nutrients. And thus, lignin became a major polymer in the wood, providing structural support and paved the way to the formation of vertically layered forest canopies. Under a closed canopy, less than 2% of daylight reaches the forest floor, even on cloudless days. Gaps in the canopy provide photosynthetic boost to the overshadowed plants in all forest types, including boreal, temperate, and tropical. Plants in the understory may have to wait a long time until a canopy gap forms. Until then, as a shade avoidance response, some temperate tree seedlings have adapted to leaf out earlier in the spring. Early expansion of leaves extends photosynthesis by more than a week at the very beginning of the growing season. However, fall spring events make this a rather risky strategy. Human-induced global warming and resulting climate change have increased the likelihood of false spring events. The red maple seedling here is at least four years old. The data shows that each year, global warming is pushing the arrival of spring to earlier dates. This is particularly worrying for species reliant on day length for leaf emergence as they may be outcompeted by those less sensitive to photo period. Canopy gaps allow direct penetration of sunflex to the understory. Treefall gaps sharply increase available light for photosynthesis and trigger regenerative growth. Until a canopy gap forms, shade-tolerant plants maintain a low-light acclimated state, utilizing the far-red portion of the light spectrum. While in that state, they stay ready to utilize sunflex for photosynthesis. Here, a sapling growing under a closed canopy in Panama experiences a short-duration sunflex. Under closed canopy, Sunflex may constitute up to 80% of the total photosynthesis. However, sudden exposure of leaves to high intensity light can be detrimental. The powerful photosynthetic reaction center that splits water to release oxygen can sustain damage with the sudden flux of photons. During a sunflex, most plants switch their light harvesting complexes into an energy dissipating, photoprotective mode. As soon as the sunflex is over, shade tolerant plants can rapidly transition back to the low light acclimated state. Slow reversibility into low light acclimated photosynthesis leads to losses in carbon fixation. Shown here is a profile of daily fluctuation of light within the canopy. A section of the light profile is expanded to show the photosynthetic losses during light fluctuations. Dashed lines represent the response lags. The area between the solid and dashed lines represents the reduction in photosynthesis.
Measurements of simulated sunfleck responses in the shade-tolerant Chinese ginseng have demonstrated the immediate restoration of low-light acclimation. These responses include maximum quantum yield as well as effective quantum efficiency pertaining to photosystem 2, cyclic electron flow around photosystem 1, and non-photochemical quenching. One curious adaptation discovered in poplar tree is a triple chimeric gene called booster, conferring fast light acclimation. The booster is a mix of a segment of a gene encoded in the chloroplast and two gene fragments from a bacterium and an ant. The ant farms a fungus infecting the poplar tree. The booster appears to be a unique gene that has evolved once in the cottonwood lineage. As the booster gene illustrates, species can evolve diverse molecular mechanisms to cope with light stress. Therefore, the shade avoidance and tolerance adaptations highlighted here are just a few examples among many that have evolved against light limitation.